guys, so uh, there was a lot of interest in my image of the International Space Station last time, so I thought today I'd show you uh, exactly how it's done. So, right here, uh, I've got my Altaz mount set up on the balcony, uh, and we're in downtown Edmonton, by the way, so the International Space Station is going to be passing right overhead in about 30 minutes, so I'm just going to get set up and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So that's my manual Altaz mount moves in horizontal and the vertical axes and then right over here I've got my scope so this is the Celestron 8 inch scope it's an old Schmidt Cassegrain I'm going to attach my little finder scope. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to manually follow the International Space Station because the mount can't actually track it. So, got the finder scope on there. Uh, now, right down over here, I'm using a Crayford focuser. There we go. So I'm just going to install my Barlow lens because tonight we're going to be imaging with a 2x Barlow to get some more magnification. So I'm just going to grab my Barlow from my kit right down here. Okay. So that's a 2 inch Barlow. locked in securely. Okay, and now we're going to attach the camera. So right here I've got my Fuji X-T2 camera. So I'm going to use this little adapter, it's a standard uh, M42 T2 adapter to attach this camera to the telescope. Okay, that's locked in. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we balance the telescope. Okay, so we've got the scope pretty well balanced now. So, balanced in this direction. I don't have a counterweight for the other side, but that works fine. So you can move it up and down and left and right. Now, uh, the main thing to do is to make sure that the finder scope is properly aligned with the actual telescope. So I'm just going to find a, a distant light somewhere or a star and get it roughly centered in my finder scope. Uh, a distant light is easier because it doesn't move. There we go. Okay, my finder scope is roughly aligned so that lets me kind of get the light in the center of the frame or close enough. So I'm going to turn on my camera now. And the first thing we're going to do here is just uh, get some rough focus. So you can see that light. Just got to get that centered. close. Okay, that's relatively focused. 
and relatively centered. So or the, the top of the light is pretty centered. So now I'm going to go to my finder scope and get that centered in the line. Okay, now we've got the telescope and the finder skull perfectly aligned. They're both pointing at the exact same object. Uh, now we are uh, ready to go. So now we just have to set the proper settings over here. And I'm tonight I'm going to be using ISO 1600 and 400th of a second exposure time. And uh, that is all I need. Oh yeah, now uh, now that I've, I've aligned both my finder scope and the telescope, I'm going to focus on a star manually so that when I point it at the International Space Station later, it's already perfectly focused. So I just find a really bright star that's high up using the finder scope, center it, and then lock it. Ready? I see you coming.